Thanks, Nolan, for joining us today. So today we're talking about data analytics, and you're a big advocate for data analytics in general. Tell us about using data analysis and data analysis practices in process improvement. Well, data analysis was one of the big points of BPM in the first place. So the idea that you're not using your BPM data to make your processes better um, is just wasted time and energy. So being able to look at those things and make sure you're prioritizing your real business goals is, is really important part of business process management. And so what do people need to really do the data analysis? What's the next step for them? Once we've got our process running, we have historical data, what's our next step to do that analysis a little bit better? Well, if you make sure that you have real solid defined business goals, why are we doing this banking onboarding process? Is it, do we want to optimize how fast it's going, the quality of service, the number of um, loans we're able to actually complete successfully? And so once you can come up with that number, then you can start tuning your process to better optimize for those conditions. That's great. Well, thanks, Nolan, for joining us and talking about data analytics and data analysis. And we look forward to having you again.